Okay, I'm gonna show you on the Aquinnah Cowl how to do this section where you're slipping and purling stitches in the two color honeycomb section. You are holding the yarn in front the whole time. You don't have to go back and forth. You're going to slip purl wise. One, two, three, purl three. One, two, three. Make sure you're moving them down because one thing you don't want to happen is for your slipped stitch in front to be too short. So you wanna make sure, like you would do with a color work float in the back, that it's loose but not too loose because you're going to be pulling it up when you knit under the loose stitches. You're gonna be pulling it up uh, two rounds. So can you do more than one at a time? Yes, absolutely. Again, just make sure you're not pulling it too tightly. So if you do more than one, say you did two at a time, slip, 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 all fine. Make sure you're leaving enough here yarn before you start purling, two, three, so that when you pull it across, there's enough slack here. If you slip two or three at once, you might have a tendency to have not enough yarn there. So when you pull, it won't have a nice look to it. It will really pull the material up. So you can do it one at a time. One, two, three. Let this float across the front like you would with a color work float in the back if you do color work. And purl three. One, two, three. You can go too loose, so don't you don't want to go too loose either. You wouldn't want to, for example, you know, one, two, three and then purl like this and have it too loose. That's probably a little too much material. You just want it to pull across the front of the three so that when you pull up on it, it will be taut, but also a little slack, if you will. And that's all.